What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to pick up where we left off, we're continuing our pressure against the Prussians in Europe for about the millionth battle coming. <laughs> and we are starting to uh, to clear out these Prussian stacks that, hint that are uh, roaming around the French countryside. Starting off with Goodwin Chernside destroying the army of Leonhardt Romberg with a pretty pretty ragged force compared to my elite troops with superior artillery so let's get to it um, the belly of Yugoslavia or the Yugoslavian region through Bosnia and Croatia uh, modern day Croatia that is and effectively I'm starting to take their rear territories I've captured Vienna and Hamburg and I'm starting to take the smaller regions which means they can't have the armies in the field that they would like which means I want to sweep eastwards and effectively Pull a bit of a, a bit of a Barbaros. Um, send some armies up against Sweden. That'll be fun. Okay, so let's deploy. Deploy a set of guns. Because I am going to advance them in good order, I think. So I'm going to want to fill a massive... Ooh, or do I want to? Or do I want to just, just abuse my artillery? Instead position my infantry there. Spread my guys out in a bit of a line. So then let's take a couple more units to start. To, these are the divisions that are in the uh, in the woods. And I like the idea of putting my sharpshooters in the woods. That seems fluffy. Back them up with a unit of hidden lancers if they can hide. Yes, they can. So then we also have a very weak left flank, but I think I'll have enough troops to cover it. If not, I will just uh, bend the flank in. And these guys, so these cavalry are not deployed. So you can also hide in the woods with your deployed. This unit of lancers can deploy, so you are on my left lancer squadron. And my lancer dragoons are going to stay here in reserve with fire at will off, also hidden. So let's get to it and see what... Oh my! Oh no, quick everyone! Quick climb! Oh god, my computer did not like that first volley. Oh wow! These guys need to advance rapidly out of position. because they have just decimated a couple of units of my infantry. Get my sharpshooters to deploy stakes, because they're going to be holding a bit of a line there now. Fold my infantry in. So I want to get these, get these guys out of the range of the shrapnel. Shrapnel shots coming from these horse artillery. This is going to be devastating. Yep, 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 yep. Lots and lots and lots of losses there. Okay, so let's target these things smartly. Get one battery against you, one battery against you. Another battery can just target some light dragoons. And let's bring these guys in over here. At a bit of an obscure angle. Let's move up my cavalry. Because I know exactly what's going to be coming. Good job they've not decided to attack my artillery. So let's take my carb carbiners. Okay, right, so deploy my Lancer Guards into Light Dragoons. Deploy square, deploy square, deploy square. These guys are going to be fine. Turn Firewall off for them. Sit my Dragoons back. No, don't hit their cavalry. That'll be easy prey. I see them moving on the right. So let's take my light... Just my skirmishers. Move them into the mix. Let's move up my Lancers to maybe smash this unit of Militia. Or more accurately, to probably to promptly smash into this unit. So run my light cavalry back. Massive cavalry brawl in the centre. So 
let's run my well let's run this unit of line infantry in let's run my skirmishes back get my lancers back into a position ready to respond deploy my can I deploy them in there just to maximise a bit more firepower? It's not going to be ideally ideally distra distributed. It's better than nothing. Okay, so I'll reallocate my quick line targets onto their infantry. Full my cavalry back. And then start closing the jaws. Just start shift clicking some of my, or a lot of my cavalry to start trotting around. So you know militia, oh, they got fireball off, so get a fireball back on so they can engage this unit of militia. To be honest, let's use this unit of Lancer Guards to start. Hit that unit of Light Dragoons. So they're firing very close range now. fire chase after him so let's click move my cavalry in you charge that artillery unit before you start to get in trouble same with you Make sure my cavalry are in the right position. So you hit the puckle guns. You smash into that unit of line infantry. Uh, let's halt fire with my artillery. Where are you going? Okay, you get in here. Actually, you get around here. Dodge the artillery. Dodge the um, horse barricades. Instead, do this. general okay chase down there oh, you may as well chase down the puckle guns they're still there two guys that you can easily theoretically chop down nope okay go after this unit of horse artillery then instead Make sure all of my cavalry is properly allocated to so bring them back in the fight. Chase down that unit of militia. Help fire. Where's my it's my general? Let's get my general to keep chasing down. She's done that unit of line infantry. So the Prussians are bravely trying to hold out, but it's all for naught. Because the onward press of American cavalry will win the day. So let's run them around these horse barricades into that unit there. Let's run these guys up here just to shoot at him. 
actually stun the unit of horse artillery. No, you're going to definitely kill some of those guys, so just make them halt. Alright, they're slightly not out. There you go, chase them down now. Well, to be honest, they're all going to fire one volley of round shot. My militia have been... My infantry have not been doing a brilliant job against their militia. Just bring up this unit of infantry to get involved. And they're going to fire wheels so when they get within range, they're going to go pap. Okay, let's turn off fire at will. And we are going to continue because I definitely want to uh, mow down as many as possible. I'm not sure if they can get away. Um, so I just want to make sure that if they do get away on the campaign map, that it's a uh, clean kill. Listen, I'm pretty sure I don't need to do much micro with these guys, because we get there done. Maybe bring over this unit of cavalry to help. Bit overkill, but you know. I'd rather do it than a fragment of them get away. No, nope, they got away. So the only ones left are this unit of militia here, which are about to get finished off right now. Excellent. A very well prepared or equipped army, um, but an army nonetheless which has been yeah see there you go oh and they've they've retreated in the most frustrating way so this army is going to replenish and reoccupy this fort and uh, you're blocking down there this army is going to run around here to uh, act as a no actually not them no uh, to be honest it's just a bunch of cavalry yes sir Okay, if I garrison you into here, bring this army out, chop them up, you garrison Paris, or maybe not garrison Paris, but chomp. Free garrison Paris, you stand here and replenish, replenish your hearts out, and what could you do with? Probably just a unit of infantry, so let's get some... One unit of expat infantry. Yep, so the Prussians are driving south, which is fair enough. Um, more than happy to let them have their little games, because what's going on here quietly is uh, we are driving them back on all fronts. So the front is sort of stabilised here. I've got an army out here that I'm going to send out to just secure Transylvania. So then they're going to go here, refit, and we are going to fortify, because if we're going to continue operations in this area, I'd like a base, a fortified base to do it from. And let's do some upgrading, because this area, despite being under Prussian rule, has not seen much investment. And let's get a regular barracks. I doubt too many military barracks will be required. So Vienna is now happy. And let's get a church school to start recruiting Protestant missionaries. Eventually we are going to have to deal with the pustule that is Italy. Ready and awaiting so you're there, so what do you Sorry. want? I don't know, you're a bit of a fragment, I'm going to leave you there for now. 
Uh, what's going on in India? You're still blockading me. Cool. So we're over here. We've made... Oh, we are at war with Persia. Um, but say the V. Recruit and get... Can't get two units of regular old line infantry. That is peculiar. Hmm... I'll deal with the smaller amount of uh, of troops, I suppose. Let's bring you around to engage this army, which has been uh, damaged. Yeah, there you go. Just knock them back as a bit of a fragment. Good. Replenish. Same with this army. Knock them back as a bit of a fragment with my not super elite uh, African troops. And these guys are going to go up and secure our... Um, oh, no, wait. Oh, I'm a piece of the Ottomans. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're just going to go here. And we're gonna, they're going to move up against Azerbaijan. And then eventually push the east and capture Persia. And ideally declare peace. But I, I highly doubt that will be the case. And the Marathans are preparing a, a lovely invasion force. Which I might actually... Uh, Spain taken? Yes, yeah, Spain's taken Iceland. Um, I might head that army off, actually. Or that cheeky little uh, naval force and send you over to India to engage because my money financial situation has stabilised let's repair breast so here, who have I got here Sir, you're usable you take yourself down to this port actually this navy can do the job let's promote the commander of the boxer to an admiral Erasmus Madison, congratulations, you are going to sail immediately to Cartagena. Ooh, is this EU? Oh, they're still converting. Okay, so let's take this army. Equip them. And then let's sail them to... Probably up here. Let's take this army to make sure Gibraltar's not left ungarrisoned to go down here and blockade the trade route in the straits. Because these guys need a bit of a pasting for a Prussian army. There you go, trade route raided. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lots of trade route raiding. So they've got a little Prussian fleet over there, but I'm not worried about them. Then let's disembark this army. And get them onto the field, because um, an immediate response by the uh, by the AI could be to attack Hanover. But what I'm going to do with Joseph Deer here is attack Cologne. As you can see, they have lots of reinforcements. But if I could blow a hole in that fort and storm it, this could get quite interesting. And the reinforcements are pretty knackered, and pretty sure I'll get this finished off in time. Well, I've got good reinforcements, so let's assault it and hopefully wipe the Westphalians off the map. Um, their reinforcements might be coming in from behind me. So I could halt force and try and not get destroyed by mortars, or I sit back, destroy the reinforcements as they come in, then commit to attacking the fort. Um, if I'm from memory, I'm pretty sure they're behind and to the left. I think I'm just going to generally set my infantry up behind. If they do start walking onto the field behind me, I will set up a pocket around the point at which they enter the battle. It should be pretty cut and dry. Oh, we already have a breach. And I've got Ooh, I've got some cavalry, so I can try gun that cavalry in. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Assuming they're coming from behind me... Set up... My howitzers... On the road... Firing quick climb. Set up my cavalry... Because they are going to sprint through the breach... Into the fort. Um, probably set up a... So in two marines, a line unit, and a light infantry unit to go and start to secure some walls and make the castle be mine. Let's deploy a unit of artillery like this. Firing shrapnel. Let's deploy you guys like this. Firing shrapnel. And let's just have a bit of a bit of a battle line. 
If they can hit me with mortars, then I'll fall back. Um, if not... I'm, I'm pretty sure they're coming from over here, so I'm going to do this. Pretty sure that's the case. Keep my general back here. Yes, they are. So, cavalry. Go hit those mortars. Halt. Halt. So, because that's where they're going to come from, I want to bring these infantry units over here. See, I was terrified they were going to drop quicklime on me. So my... Yeah, that was pretty inevitable. Okay, so let's take you. Just start to secure... Yeah, there goes quicklime in. More quicklime. So get through the breach. Miss generally... Go, 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 go. Deploy you out. If anything, do this. Have them just engaging targets. Well, though, to be honest, just run through the gates because they're probably not going to be able to stop you. go and I've got uh no nope, don't worry about that buddy and I'm contesting the uh the center and the field of battle oh let's get let's get you the hell out of there that's the general's bodyguard well let's just leave a unit of marines behind him send you oh no let's get you guys to engage the peel off just get my cavalry out of dodge because I don't want to lose them to any super frustrating um, canister shots Yep, yeah, desperately running to go save the fort, but they will not have the time. Spin my light infantry around to face them. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. So there's. That's how I want to position them, so they can fire onto the walls. And they won't interfere with combat. There you go, I'm firing up onto the walls of them. Hey, you you take out my artillery west failure. You are about to be removed from the game. Well that went surprisingly well. I mean, I know they were a pretty knackered army, but <laughs> still expected a bit of something. And now they're forming column. So as few of them can fire their musket, this one guy and their officers just cut it on the floor. Two of their muskets didn't fire as well. 
This is what you get, Westphalia, when you spend your time pillaging my lawful territories rather than defending your own borders. Doesn't even matter if your reinforcements come in or not. Not gonna matter. This is my fortress now. Let's end it. What a sweet, sweet victory against the of grinding their little faction into the dirt. Bang! That looks a lot tidier now, doesn't it? First order of business, destroy that university. Suddenly you and Edwin Keats, you want a unit of cavalry. And you can get, not a general field marshal, not like cuirassiers, because you're in that part of the... You're in that part of the country. And then let's start bringing you... Do I want to bring you south or do I want to bring you east? I think I want to bring you east. Let's make you... You have a beeline for uh, Dresden. Because Dresden looked livid. And I would like to capture it before um, any thoughts of rebellion come to mind. You have no artillery. That's so... Let's give you two Arch. units of... Oh, you do have... Oh, okay, you, now you've got some artillery. So let's send a unit of cavalry to scout Ready. Prague. Prague is garrisoned and will get a garrison, so you come back. You replenish within range of the fort. You replenish within range of the fort and build. Let's get a unit of rockets, see if they're any good. What's the difference? Rocket troop, in, rocket troop improved. Well, I'll have one of those, please. And let's get a unit of a battery of artillery to support the field armies. Ready for Got two units of dragoons. You clear them out. To your unit of irregulars, Pandowers. So, roop. Any further orders? You go, horse grenadier guards. New garrison in this fort. Battle. Good, good, good. Right, so let's destroy. It's College of Divinity, it's not needed. No no problems with descent. There's another one. Let's get rid of you. You've got good roads. Good. That's good. Yes. Ah, so you're in position to make a move on Strasbourg. Which is unguarded. Rats. Oh wow, you will get a load of reinforcements from these two armies, I'd wager. Yep, those are the ones. So maintain the siege, bring Nathaniel Winthrop into the mix for support, and then that'll be a battle I do next turn. Or oh, actually, no, the battle could well be the assault of Brussels, because then I'd be another army to go down, and then I can just chomp these troops up in a completely cut off cauldron. Not that Germany's ever had that happen to him, eh boys? Okay, let's start fixing some of the stuff I've got. Good, 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 good. And let's build a smiths. Smiths at Berlin. Sounds like a good idea. So eventually I'm going to start fighting the Russians, which could be fun, but ultimately I'll have all of, uh, all of Europe under my command. Send a bunch of armies south to knock out the Italian peninsula, to attack Malta, wipe out the uh, the, the Ottomans with my southern forces in, in uh, Greece, and then start pushing into Russia, all the while pushing in and attacking um, Norway and Sweden. Basically amphibious assault, amphibious assault, amphibious assault, capture all of Scandinavia in a few turns. That sounds pretty good. So let's take you. Leighton Ashford, because this battle has, you have no um, walls, no defences, but I have no mortars myself to actually wow. defeat you. So what I want to do, not defeat you, but you know, contribute. Oh, I can't get mortars in there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it for one turn, because I want to get some supporting artillery into position. So you're on your way to Strasbourg, to Dresden, sorry. You are on your way to... Um, probably go down here. Start to threaten Stuttgart and all these troops. And sorry, Bavaria, you're not going to be alive very long. Well, oh, they look good. Whatever the hell these are. Protecting with per the persons of the monarch and the royal family. Looks like he's winking at me. 
and research and tech. Herbal, destroy. Magdeburg, destroy. Good, I just have no need for you. Speaking of herbal, let's go back to, not India, here to Baghdad. Have I done my spending on you? I have. Good, and you are earning me a decent amount of money per turn. Lovely. Radio. So I'm going to hit end turn just to see what happens. Um, but I don't wager much will happen. In position. In position. Yep, so the Bavarians are back in town. Ooh, the French have actually done something. Ooh, okay. This could be, like, the mother of all battles. And I'm probably going to fight it. <clears throat> so, um, I'm under no illusions. Uh, this could well result in the loss of pretty much both of these armies, but the temptation to draw all of their forces in, in one battle, while I'm packing quicklime, uh, is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is, and while this force is also very weak, and it involves the first Maryland... Hmm... Yeah, this force can, will not be able to put up much of a resistance against anything. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to let it go. I mean, well, I can afford to lose the armies. I think I might, I think I might fight it in a bit of a suicidal um, sort of defence. But what I'm going to want to do is this. And arrange it so that my strongest units come onto the field first, backed up by quick lime howitzers. Probably more important than artillery. I probably want you as well. Because um, these guys will not last very long at all. And if I do start relying on these guys, it's going to be a very quick battle. So let's drop some units in. Okay. I'm tempted to fight it, but I accept I'm going to lose, but it might be worth it just to deplete lots of their forces, or as many as I can. Um, so, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next battle, where you'll see me fight a very pyrrhic, well, it won't be a pyrrhic victory, it'll be a devastating loss, but I'll make them pay for it. So, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next part.